Hey everybody, I'm Josh and this is Help HQ and today we're going to be talking about wireless connectivity issues with the Netgear Orbi Wi-Fi 6 mesh system, specifically the RBR750 mesh system. So my system has one router and two satellites and I had a problem with the internet cutting out um, in general, right? So it would still say I was connected to Wi-Fi, but the internet actually didn't work. And so I reached out to Netgear customer service or technical support, and I'm gonna show you what they told me to do to fix it. So let's get into it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the orbilogin.com web address and log into your router or your router's IP address, whichever you choose. Once you get logged in, we're going to be selecting the advanced tab on the left hand side of the screen at the top right here. And then we're going to go down and we're going to select on administration and we're going to go ahead and make sure that we don't have any firmware updates available for the router. So that's the first thing you want to do. Uh, in my case, I didn't have any. I had already updated the firmware and I was still having wireless connectivity problems. So from here, you're going to want to go down and you're going to select the advanced tab well the advanced option rather that's right underneath firmware update so we're going to select the plus sign and then we're going to go to wireless settings which is the first option you see right here if your settings don't match what i'm showing here in the video then make sure you write them down so that you can change them back if it doesn't fix anything and so this may or may not work for you this is just what netgear told me to do in order to fix it from here what we're looking for is the CTS RTS threshold and we're looking for preamble mode so we're going to be changing both of these and you'll see two different ones here so we're going to change it from 64 to 2304 and then we're going to change the preamble from automatic to long and we're going to do that exactly the same for both the one right here at the top as well as the one here at the bottom once that's done then you can select apply at the top and then it should save your settings and then reboot your router. If everything worked, then you should be greeted with the screen that shows all the settings saved like what you see here. Uh, if you see this, then you can go ahead and close out your web browser or log out of your router and then just test it out. And then let me know down in the comments if this worked for you guys. So in my case, uh, it didn't work, but I, I think that I actually got a bad unit. I could never get Netgear to fess up to it, but I think that I just got a faulty unit and it is what it is. But I hope this helps out some of you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.